Hey guys and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So a really requested video from people was to talk about how this prep is currently going for me and how my preps in the past have gone. So currently right now I'm nine weeks out from my Saba Provincial show. Um, I decided not to do any videos or anything at the start just because my body, it goes through a lot of withdrawals of carbs and a whole bunch of other stuff and I'm really just adjusting. My moods aren't really too good in the beginning of my preps ever just because again I'm adjusting to everything and getting used to cardio and lower carbs and all of that kind of stuff so usually pretty grumpy. <laughs> um, but then as I started feeling good four weeks and I decided okay I have a little bit of a little bit of extra time on my hands I'll start making videos and if anyone if no one watches, that's okay. At least I have all this documented for myself to look back and kind of know how I was feeling and what I was doing um, in the future to make my other preps better. Anyways, so yeah, nine weeks out as of this weekend and feeling really, really good because my last prep, uh, which was the show was in October, I started at 160 pounds, which was a pretty unhealthy weight for me. I wasn't overweight, but I didn't need to be at that high of a weight. But at the time, you know, you don't really realize that. So I started that prep at 160, stepped on stage in October at 129. So I lost 30 plus pounds to jump on stage. This prep, I started at 148, so 12 pounds lighter so that's why I kind of feel really really good going into this prep because I basically started at my halfway point to my last prep with saying that I still have a lot of work to do and then my first couple of weeks of prep were also really hard not only because my body was adjusting to lower carbs and more cardio but I was following my plan to a T and the scale wasn't moving. I was 146, 147, 146, 147 for the first three weeks. So my coach kept taking my carbs out and upping my cardio because I wasn't losing weight. But honestly, I think my cortisone levels were up. So if, if you don't know what those are, those are your stress levels. And when your stress, le stress levels are high, you tend to hold your weight a little bit more. And when you have more sodium, you tend to hold more water. So that for women and for men, your weight can fluctuate a lot just because of a couple of things, um, like having extra sodium in your diet. So I don't know if that was it, but you know, I talked to a couple other competitors and they're like, just keep your head up and keep going. So I tried and kind of kept pushing through, pushed through, and then finally it started coming off. But yeah, for the first um, three, four weeks, uh, it wasn't losing really anything like a pound maybe and I guess it was really hard for me to only see a pound come off the scale each week because my last prep that I got my for my show in October I was losing two pounds every single week for 10 weeks I think for 10 weeks straight I lost two pounds exactly every single week so and then to go into this prep and to barely lose a pound each week and I was following my plan it was really really frustrating but had to take a step back and trust the process and proceed so this prep now I'm feeling really really good because started a lot lighter um, now I started with a new coach for my last prep and I'm using him again this prep so he already knows what my body reacts to um, best and what it doesn't do good with so I'm feeling good and confident because now he knows my body so we don't have to play around with anything because he knows for my last prep whereas the first prep we kind of had to play around so now he knows everything about me that he needs to and we can just go hard that kind of thing third my job is different so I used to waitress and being around all that fried food all the time obviously there was way more temptations so I did cheat quite a bit to be honest to my last prep this prep I am now all in personal training so I don't have any other jobs on the side personal training is my number one job so it's the most 
rewarding job and also it just fits so well for a bodybuilding lifestyle because you know if my clients don't show up that sucks but um, I'm already at the gym I can get my cardio or my workouts in so I do kind of have an advantage that way didn't always um, but so now that's good so not around greasy tempta like temptations at all times and I'm around a motivating inspiring environment at all times so that's a plus this prep um, what else my boyfriend Christian is the most wonderful guy ever and he's super supportive in all I do and you know the first prep was kind of hard because we were actually both prepping and for a little while until he decided he's going to wait um, to compete so now that there's only one of us competing it's a lot less stressful in the house because obviously when you're on prep you're li you get agitated a lot faster so with only one of us being on prep it's so much easier on a relationship I'm not saying that before was bad but he just can under he understands now that he has done a prep whereas before he didn't really understand and then also he was more agitated so one person prepping in a relationship is good and it's way better so that's good and then this prep I have been I really wanted to be honest with myself so my last show in October like I said I cheated quite a bit just because I was waitressing and I was around greasy food no excuses because there's other waitresses that do shows and don't cheat but um, I cheated quite a bit like I didn't even really measure my food out because I was like whatever and because I, I was still I was losing quite a bit I was losing two pounds every single week so I didn't really weigh my food or anything um, and then I would you know if I wanted chips I would grab a small handful and I'd be like oh it's a small small handful what's that gonna do not realizing that it actually does add up at the end of the week so this prep I've been super honest with myself and followed my plan to a T and I'm feeling really good about that also been getting four liters of water in minimum I've been busting my ass on cardio and that's another thing my last all my other preps before I changed up my cardio so I would do elliptical, stairmaster, bike, row machine, um, go for runs outside just change it up so that I wouldn't get bored this prep I've did a little bit more research and a lot of girls who had thunder thighs like me said that running and doing sprint intervals was the best thing for them and getting their legs lean so that's what I've been doing I haven't been doing anything else sometimes when all the treadmills are taken or something like that I'll do Stairmaster but I'd say this whole prep 95% of it has been for my cardio has been on the treadmill doing sprint intervals and I can already see leg definitions I didn't have on stage and I still I'm nine weeks out so my cardio is a lot better so I think I got that under control my weight sessions are have been amazing so um, this preps also a lot different than all my other ones because I have a lot more energy obviously there's days where I'm like oh my gosh I don't think I can work out but the past two weeks I've had so much energy and I felt I've been feeling really good and most other preps you know I actually start dreading training which sucks because then it's like well should I even be competing then if it's making me lose my passion for my passion of training um, but this prep I've had so much energy to get in hardcore good workouts so that's been good so yeah I have like 10 reasons why this prep's gonna go so much better and I am a natural competitor so I am not on anything which makes it a little bit more challenging obviously but just gonna keep my head up and grind through and that's basically how I feel I'm feeling really good I have lots of energy um, my only support in this in this sport is my my followers and my clients and then um, but my my boyfriend is my number one my family doesn't really understand competing quite yet and to be honest, I um, my friends were really, really toxic, so I cut them out of my life. Um, so yeah, support system's very minimal, but it's it's a one-on-one, -on -one, it's a personal sport. Um, if you're looking 
trying to look elsewhere for support, you're not going to find it. So you have to be pretty confident in yourself and be able to do it on your own without anyone kind of cheering you on. And my first show I ever did was when I was 17. I just turned 20. And when I stepped on stage, I was, I think, 132. So fairly lean, but not really. Maybe I was actually 120. I think it was 128 because I had less muscle. Anyways, I did not place well at all. I had the worst attitude ever. I was like, why didn't I win? And then now that I a bit older and I can see the pictures and now I know what this sport's really about and you know what the judges are looking for. Obviously I placed where I should have. I wasn't didn't come in as lean as I should have. And yeah, so I'm actually really gr glad that I didn't place then because I probably would have just built my ego up on that. Instead it kind of humbled me and I had to work hard to where I am now. So that show, my first show was a novice show and I think I placed, there wasn't that many girls, so I think there was 10 and I placed 7th. So not last, but not very good. Then I decided, okay, well, Provincials is two weeks away. I can get a little bit more leaner and see what I placed there. So I went up a placement. I think I placed 6, so not bad. But still, I was still pissed. I was just like, this is bullshit. I should have won. Really, I shouldn't have. Then I decided, you know what, I'm going to take a year off and put on some size. And then I did went backpacking in Australia for a year. So I was thinking about doing a show in Australia. But money-wise, prep is pretty expensive. So it just didn't pan out in to work into my financial situation at the time. So I had to put it off off shows a little bit longer so I decided you know what I'm gonna take two years off and I'm just going to put on as much as much muscle as possible so I did and then I really wanted to do compete in 2016 and do the spring shows in Saskatoon but I had we had a lot going on we had just moved from Australia to here and money again was tight and if you want to do a show great but make sure your financial situation is pretty good because I'll do another video on this but prep is so expensive and it's kind of something people don't talk about but sometimes prep isn't worth it like if you have you need to weigh your priorities and kind of know what comes first because prep is expensive but anyway so again tight situation with money so had to put up put off the show a little bit longer so that's why I did the October show which isn't a bad thing because um, you actually win prizes TV and money I want a tablet or something like that um, and it also qualified me for provincial so I don't have to do the novice show this coming spring I can just go straight to provincials which is nice um, but yeah so didn't place well at all when I was younger and 17 and that's totally okay because if I would have won then it would have my ego would have went up so it really humbled me and then I took two years off to grow and put on size then I went to the October show and I really really you know made myself proud um, of how far I came because I went from placing you know sixth to placing I placed second there and I only lost by one point for winning overall so now that show I'd say I gave my 75% this show I'm giving it my 100 so really excited to see what's in store for me um, my goal is to qualify for nationals and make it to the national stage so if you guys want to follow this amazing journey please do and um, also check out my Instagram which I'll link here